Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk about one of the settings that a lot of people tend to overlook when they're setting up their Tsunami 2 and their Blue Nami. And this is the difference between the air dryer or the poppet valve. So we're going to talk about what they are and how to set them up. So let's get started. Now when you get your Tsunami 2 or your Blue Nami out of the package and you do your decoder installation, you're going to go in and you're going to set up a lot of the main settings. Things like horn, the bell, the air compressor, the prime mover, and all of those different sounds. But one of the sounds that tends to get overlooked a lot is the sound of the either the air dryer or the poppet valve. Now CV125 will allow you to select between the poppet valve and the air dryer. And by default, the air dryer is enabled. Now, the air dryer is a more modern appliance. So it started around somewhere in the 90s, probably the 2000s, but it's just a different system to dry the air once it's compressed. Now, when the moisture in the air is compressed along with the rest of the air, the water condensates, and that water has to be expulsed out of the system. Now, in earlier diesels, such as my GP40 that I have here in front of me, a lot of those were done with what was called a poppet valve, and basically the pressure would build up, the water would accumulate, and there was a little sensor that when the water accumulated a certain point, it would open the valve and spit the water out or pop the water out. And that's that sound of that ch -ch 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 sound that you would get standing next to a diesel. Now, as I mentioned, the later versions were the electronic air dryer, and this had a slightly different system and a different sound. But in the Tsunami 2, and then of course now our Blue Nami, you have the option to select between the two. So when we unmute our locomotive here, now I have taken the prime mover volume and set it down and the air compressor, so that way you can hear the sounds of the poppet valve and the air dryer. So by default, we have the air dryer sound. So occasionally you'll hear the air dryer sound, which is a more modern appliance. But in this GP40, of course, we want to hear the poppet valve. So in this case, we're going to take CV number 125, and we're going to go ahead and program this on the main, 125. We're going to set that to a value of zero to enable the poppet valve. So now when we set that to zero, you'll hear that poppet valve kick on, just like this. So when you're setting up your decoder, make sure you know what your locomotive is equipped with and which version you have. And again, it's a simple setting in a CV. Now the volume for these are set up by CV125, and we also have a probability CV that you can adjust so you can have more frequent cycling of the sounds of the air dryer or the poppet valve. For more information, please visit our website at soundtracks.com, and be sure to check out our user's guide where you'll find more information about this and all the other cool features that are built into your Tsunami 2 and your Blue Nami.